So I'm Janet Lawrence and I'm an artist who's been working for a long time with our relationship to the natural environment and our interconnection to it and our dependency on it and its fragility. How did you decide that that was what you wanted to have a conversation about? I initially studied art in Italy and understanding where art was coming from there and thinking about um, our art here. And it was really um, very interesting how people were not really seeing this landscape in the same way as when they colonised it, they approached the way of farming it with European methods instead of ever listening to Indigenous people. And really, it's only being addressed now, that incredible mistake we made. I just intuitively felt uh, somehow we were really <laughs> misstepping. We weren't, it wasn't right. I understood this enormous um, gap in a relationship to, to managing our land. What I really wanted to do was to try and explore what this land was by looking at it, but not by trying to picture it not by trying to make images of it like in the paintings. I wanted to try and understand the being of the plants and the being of the looking inside it, which is a much more scientific approach. And that led me to have to um, team up with scientists to look at that sort of material. There's a, a new term coming through now around planetary health, although I suspect that you've had more contact with that in an international context than in Australia, where it's quite a new term. Can you talk to me about what planetary health is and what it means to you? The idea of planetary health for me is a much more uh, holistic idea of how we live on this land. It's, so it's a relationship of our own bodies and physiology um, connecting to how we farm, how we, how we grow our food, right through to understanding how we nurture the environment in order to grow that food and therefore understanding the holistic ecological view of what maintains a healthy environment for us to live within. Do you continue to see different examples of how different communities and cultures deal with this idea? Certainly, if we look at Indigenous cultures, they have always dealt with that. It's always been, how do we maintain the health of our land in order to maintain our own healthy society? But certainly in, in Europe, I've been involved in some shows that have been dealing with that and it's and it connects much more to a lot of systems of farming that they have had in the past i think it's happening here now i think it's really opening up but we are as in so many things way behind you have works appearing in the blue mountains cultural center's next exhibition critical mass the art of planetary health um what what have you got um to share with us there <laughs> Well, a work that I haven't seen for quite a long time, actually. It's a big vitrine work, and it actually was the residue of a hospital for plants that I had in the Botanic Gardens. I changed its title from um, waiting a, 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 um, a sanitarium for plants into memory of nature. A lot of your work is reflective, themes of memory and history. Yeah. Um, but if you look forward and in the context of the world we live in and you as a citizen of the world, when, what's, your, what's your hope for planetary health in the next 20 years or so? I'd love it if we were living with such a different paradigm than we have now. And what I find is that by being active and working, that you create a possibility of hope. And hope I see as a, not as a, a passive state, but as a very active state. And, and I want, and I work towards the idea of healing, you know, can, so it, this is an act towards the healing of our environment, which is an act towards the um, creating of our, our well-being and, and holistic health. And I know that I'll just keep working towards it, probably more and more politically. It's the, the 20th anniversary of the World Heritage Listing. Blue Mountains is, is mm. a an area that's been part of your life, no doubt, for your yeah. whole life. Mm. I mean, mm. do, you, do you have any reflections on that? I just think 
an exhibition like this with such a broad range of artists, historical, local, you know, contemporary, you know, all different ages and everything, has an opportunity to draw a lot of people to it. So I just hope it can uh, be a real draw card to, for people to listen and hopefully act. I think it's an emergency now. So I think we have to speak loudly.